Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode of TAC. We've got another box in, actually came in on time this time. Here's the box right here and it is their newer style, the black, the black box with the black on black lettering and everything. So, uh, some reason it looks like it got damaged in shipping. Hopefully that didn't hurt anything inside. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got a couple of products here, plus uh, they're another little patch, it looks like. Uh, has the uh, Crate Club uh, CC on there, and it has a gentleman. It looks like he's got a sickle, and it looks like he's riding a horse. So there's that, another little patch. Not real worried about that. I, you can't really do much of anything with that, so... And then we've got the uh, two main products. Now, I do remember seeing something about these. I did get them in uh, an email. And uh, I believe the email actually had like the suggested prices on these, of which I will go ahead and check that out here a little bit later on so that we know what these are, what the, what the suggested retail prices are supposed to be on these. At least that way you can have an idea on what the value of this is. Now, we've got, of course, two. One, of course, I am very comfortable with, with being the uh, knife. If you guys have watched uh, previous episodes, I am definitely a knife guy. And, uh, you know, here we go. We've got another one. It does say Uncle Henry on there, so it does go along with the last one. And then this one is uh, by Wheeler en Engineering, it says, and it is a punch set. And now this is a round ball tip punch set. And if I understand correctly, this is actually a set that is used for um, for when you're doing maintenance on maybe a handgun or something uh, something similar, where you knock out the punch pins to uh, to do your disassembly and everything. Of course, you've got lots of different sizes here. There are nine nine different sizes, anywhere from five sixteenths clear down to a one sixteenth size punch. And uh, as you can see, it has a has a little bit of a gnarled handle right here, and a wide a wide breath at the back, so that you have something to tap onto without damaging it. And then, of course, the very small tip. Now, the tip of these it is basically flat, and then in the very center you have a little bit of a ball. Which, of course, if you've taken apart um, any kind of guns, uh, I, I have a handgun that I've taken apart and cleaned and. And done some modifications to and uh, the pins that are in them have a cupped section so that ball will fit down into that cup and then the the uh, edge will of course fit around the edge of that uh, that cup so when you hit it you're uh, not going to mushroom anything out or anything like that so definitely something that's good uh, great for those of you who do have firearms long guns handguns rifles uh, or anything else of the sort um, so I will say this is, this is nice. Actually, um, I probably could have used this before, before I was using probably something I shouldn't have. Fortunately, it didn't hurt anything, but this will be so much better to use, uh, in terms of being able to take apart, clean, and, uh, do anything with, uh, with my projectile throwers. Ball profile made from machine hardened steel. And it does, as it says, has the knurled handles. Here on the larger one, of course, you still have a larger area. Hold on to the back end that's knurled and you can be tapping there. I don't know. I don't have anything that's going to use a pin that's that big. But if you have maybe a maybe something that's a 50 cal or maybe something even larger, if you have something like that available to you, uh, that could be of some use. Uh, it does have the straps here, so we can uh, roll it up and uh, then take and tie it off so that you can keep it into a small area and of course if you have like a uh, workshop or something like that that has maybe pegboard up on the wall you could throw a couple hooks up on there and you can throw the hooks through here so then you can go ahead and just hang it on the wall and uh, it's readily available for you as you need it so there we go there pretty straightforward um, I do like it uh, I know these, uh, a good set of punches are definitely not cheap. And again, we'll find that out here in just a little bit, what they suggest the retail price is. This one here is a Uncle Henry knife. Uh, it says it's a 7CR 17M 
OV, high carbon stainless steel. And I believe that's uh, like a chromium, uh, kind of the chemical compounds for the chromium um, type maybe coating. So it, I believe that it is a, uh, it's a high carbon steel, but it's, uh, and it says stainless steel as well. So that should be the mixture of the steel, I believe. Uh, it says a staglon handle, which uh, it does look like it is a uh, basically deer antler for the most part. Uh, maybe the staglon is maybe a synthetic version of deer antler. Uh, then it has a brass uh, finger guard and uh, pommel. It does have a full tang as it says and there is a leather belt sheath that it goes into. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up. Alright guys so Got a handful of pieces here. Of course, you had the little plastic tip on the end to uh, keep it from punching through the packaging. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that this is the from uh, Taylor Brands LLC is uh, who this is from or through. Uh, whereas the last Uncle Henry that we got was from another company. And of course, it was a slightly different model of knife. Uh, it, uh, it was more of a... Uh, a thinner blade more more I would consider to be a more of a hunting knife whereas this one with a very deep blade this is probably an inch and a quarter almost deep uh, from the edge of the blade to the spine here and uh, I would consider this to be more of a skinning type knife um, definitely one that you would get in there and uh, kind of get underneath the skin and uh, peel it away if you're using it for hunting of any type um, it does have a nice weight to it. It's uh, it, it's definitely close to a pound, I'm going to say, uh, in terms of weight. Uh, there is a number printed on the side here, which I'm sure is probably the model. 182UH is the uh, number on the side here. And if I remember correctly, the other model is a 183UH. Of course, the UH, I, I would assume, standing for Uncle Henry. Now this one does say that it is a Schrade, uh, so I believe Schrade is actually the uh, actual manufacturer of the blade itself, uh, if not the entire piece there. And then the uh, Taylor Brands there is the, uh, the reseller. Uh, as you can see it does have a full tang all the way down. And this is pretty thick. This is um, probably... Mm, I don't know if I want to quite say 3 sixteenths. Yeah, well, let's take a look. We've got 3 sixteenths right there. And, uh, yeah, this is very close to a 3 sixteenths inch thick blade. So this is the 3 sixteenths inch punch. So very, very close to that. Definitely more than an eighth of an inch and, you know, not quite a, not quite a quarter. Uh, about halfway in between. And, and that makes it nice. That gives it its weight. It, um... Uh, definitely makes it sturdy. Now this is only about a, uh, I'm going to say, it's roughly a four inch blade length right there. So it's not super long uh, and it's not so short that it's kind of unusable. Now if you can see here they do have a couple of rivets. Um, these are brass rivets and they go all the way through there. So uh, that does help to show that uh, you know it is secure and everything to holding it all together. Uh, now they do have the leather sheath, uh, has your standard snap open, fits very, very snugly. Um, doesn't, you know, does go in there, got to obviously get it past the, the, uh, the snap part there, but fits nice and tight right there, uh, and then fits in there. So that definitely would be a good one to hang off a belt. Now it doesn't have any other openings on the back. There isn't a feed through one or anything. This is definitely just a hanger. And it is just a basic leather sheath. So uh, pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, not a whole lot in terms of uh, complexity or anything to this kit or to uh, the products here this time. But they're definitely very nice. Uh, I, I do like these, these Uncle Henry's, now that I've gotten a couple of them, um, the last one, it came out, like I said, it was it was definitely more of what I would consider a little bit more of a hunting knife, whereas this one I would consider more of a skinner. Let's see if we can do the test that we did on the last one. We'll do a little, little bit of a shaving test here. And, uh, oh wow, this one's actually cutting better than the last one did. Um, I'm, I'm not trying hardly at all, and this is taking all 
yeah, that's that's completely shaved clean right there. Um, you can uh, probably see that kind of a uh, bit of hair right there that, that uh, came off. So uh, definitely comes out of the package very sharp. Definitely very nice. Um, you know, knives like this are usually a uh, pretty decent price, even if you buy something like this at a place like Walmart. All right, everybody, I uh, went out and I printed off the uh, email that I got about these. And what they do now, uh, if you remember before, we used to get a little placard card that would tell you about the uh, maybe the primary uh, component that might be or components that might be in the box. Uh, instead of doing that now, what they're doing is going ahead and sending it out as an email. So uh, here we go, got a couple of pages of stuff here. But here's the knife right here. And uh, we'll just go down through it. First off, it's called the Uncle Henry's Elk Hunter. And they say the suggested retail price is $44. So this sounds about right for, for a knife like this. Um, I mean, you could probably find it for less. I'm, I'm gonna guess you might be able to find it for, for uh, 35 or $40. So, uh, you know, you wouldn't have to pay quite a, we'll just round up and say $45 range. I mean, if you're paying tax or anything, it's gonna be a little over that even. But uh, definitely, yeah, that's kind of what I figured for a price like that. So so there you go with that. Like I said, it does seem to be a pretty nice, uh, a nice knife there. Uh, now we do have the, um, the punch set here, of course, they have the picture there and then all the information down here at the bottom. Now, they do suggest the retail price for this to be, uh, it says $29.99, so we'll say $30 for, for that. And, uh, you know, in general, when I've seen um, a good punch set, uh, that's, that's pretty common price. So I don't think they're out of the ballpark when they ask for for that kind of cost on this. So adding these two together, we're ballpark figure, it, it, it's about $74. And then of course we've got the patch here which is worth maybe two bits or something like that, maybe 50 cents. So in my point of view, was this box worth it this time? Yes. All right guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off here for this episode of the tag series here on World of Me. My name is Cougar, and if you guys wanna check out the Crate Club, there is going to be a link down there in the description below, as well as there'll also be the links to our social media. Go ahead and check those out as well. And on your way down, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, there'll be that subscribe button. Either there'll be a little one floating around right over here in the corner, or you can hit the one down below down there. And don't forget to hit that bell icon right next to it so that you can be notified of when we have new videos coming out here for the TAC series or any other uh, videos for World of Me and all the series that we have going on. All right, guys. Well, I will see you later and have a good day. Bye.